iSpring's brand new Talkmaster helps you create branching dialogue simulations and publish them for any device. Dialogue simulation is a valuable tool for businesses who need to train employees to have professional conversations with clients or associates. After you install Talkmaster, double click on its icon on the desktop. The Quick Start window allows you to start a new dialogue simulation or to open up one of your previous simulations for editing or publishing. Start creating a dialogue by clicking New Scene. A scene consists of a character's speech and the user's possible replies. But first, let's click here to choose a character from the character library. Talkmaster comes with a built-in library of 20 characters, but if you want even more options, you can use the content library. Here you'll find a huge selection of characters, and you can narrow down what you're looking for by using the checkboxes on the left. Now let's close out of here and go to the background tab. Again, you're provided with a nice selection of built-in backgrounds, but the content library offers you much more. The background section is full of public, private, and work locations where a training scenario might take place. Now that we've selected a character and background, let's go back and construct our dialogue. Consider the following scenario with a library patron. The patron says, can you tell me where I can find a book on astronomy? Now here we have the option to give the user some reply choices or a feedback message. When you provide a feedback message, there will be no reply choices, just a continue button which you can link to any other scene. In this case, let's give the user two choices, a professional reply and a not so professional reply. We can connect them with new scenes by dragging the link icons away from the scene dialog. This way you can create complex branch scenarios to reflect the types of situations your users may encounter. Add appropriate responses from the character to match the user's reply choices. You can also modify the emotion of the character to reflect the answer the user chose. When you're ready to preview your scenario, click the preview button on the toolbar. You can also preview an individual scene by clicking the play button in its edit box. You can zoom in and out of your scene by rolling your mouse wheel or clicking the plus and minus buttons. This feature is particularly useful for long dialogues with complicated branching. At any time, you can configure the properties of the scenario or customize the player. You can also add voiceovers to make your dialogue more realistic and engaging. Once you've created a dialogue, click VoiceOver on the Talkmaster toolbar to see a list of your scenes in the dialogue text. The icons on the left hand side indicate whether it's the narrator, the character, or the user reply choices. For each individual scene, it's easy to record or import audio, or even bulk import a list of files that match the names in this column. You can edit your audio, and export the dialogue script for professional voice recording, or export the audio to share with your colleagues. The preview window shows you how it will fit on a desktop or laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Did you like this video? Give it a like, and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.